What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Sal once again. This is the Bat Cap, and we have taken a lot of your criticisms on board from last time. Naked Ape spent like triple or quadruple the time making this video. It's definitely going to tell a much better story this time around of the entire Highlander match today between Be Right Back uninstalling and the Retro Gamers. BRB, you in the blue right now, Retro Gamers in the red, and we're going to watch what happens here. It's going to be like a Highlander cast, except that uh, we get to skip all the boring parts. Isn't that great? So we got Caffeine right now on the pyro, lighting people on fire up in that sentry nest. Very standard sentry nest. He sees the soldier jumping in for his med, realizes that he can't quite get to him right away, but he gets a sick, sick rocket reflect. It's, uh, it's one of those reflex reflects. It's basically just, uh, you know, right-clicking whenever you feel like it. And it happens that a soldier dies, but that's awesome. Caffeine's still not done, though. He's chasing this demo man down. Sees his cart getting pushed. Feels pretty good about the uh, cap right there. And his team is doing the capping. While he chases the medic down, he's going to take a lot of damage from the sentry, but at the same time, he is going to kill the med. Chasing him down until he is doomed. Now we've got some spy action. How could we do this without spy action? Honestly, Courier coming up behind. He does not get the med, but he's going to go for the demo and the heavy instead. We'll try to take down the spy as well. Doesn't quite get that stab off, but you know what? He sees this card getting pushed. He's uh, he's doing his best to defend for the retro gamers, and he is going to get up here and try for another stab. Sees a soldier. Okay, maybe we should go for this one. Maybe. Okay, yeah, whatever. Knock a ragdoll down onto the cart, but it doesn't really matter as the cart has been captured. It's just going to be uh, one less soldier. Now we do have the sentry here, but you see the spy sneaking in with that sapper, and that is going to make that sentry go down so fast. Sentries are just uh, a weak to that. Feels kind of bad. So you got the blue team starting to push here. Uh, looks like red. Do they have an uber? No, sir. They are very close, though, but the spy coming in, getting some nice stabs. You got to watch for that spy coming in from those windows. And the blue team will take advantage of the uh, nice backstab action there. That spy is ridiculous for our blue team. That is, of course, Captain America on the spy. And he's not done yet either, guys. Keep watching. He's going to lay this sapper down right now, and he's going to try and escape. Go grab some health, maybe. Blue team getting this card pushed, but of course the red spy comes in and tries to stop this one. These spies are just all over the place in this game. It is ridiculous. Uh, blue spy still coming in using the dead ringer, so he will get away momentarily. And red spy does continue to get the stabs, but of course we're going to see this cart just sitting there. Red team's like, okay, we got this, we got this. We got our sentry set up at level 1. It's going to get to level 2 here in a second. And uh, they feel pretty good about this defense right now. They are going to retreat underneath. They're taking a little bit too much damage with their med, and he's going to kind of feel sad. Sit underneath. You see the uh, you see the blue spy though. Watch this. Watch that cart. Nobody watching the cart. They're all like, wait a minute, guys. Oh wait. Oh, we can stop this. The heavy realizes, but it's too late. The cart gets pushed in, and that is going to be a time of four minutes and 44 seconds for the first round here. That means that retro gamers now on the blue. They got to beat that. We're watching Daddy Big Blunts 420, which is a pretty awesome name if I say so myself. Uh, spots the spy here. He's going to take him down after that dead ringer activation. Gets a nice headshot on his opposing sniper. And takes down the soldier as well. Pretty ridiculous. So it's going to keep his team's sentry nest alive for a little bit longer. So Spy does come in and get the sapper down. And we are going to see... Oh my god, sick reflect over there. If you didn't catch that, rewind it. Because the pyro, the red pyro, reflecting all those rockets, did manage to get the reflect done. We do have, however, a blue heavy and demo combination coming in and taking down that sentry. And that is going to be uh, resulting in an interesting situation here. The red team sends their demo in, tries to get the uber. And you see 8-ball in the kill feed actually gets a uh, caber kill on Trixie, Trixie being the medic, so that's going to be a very important kill, but nonetheless, Red Team realizing that their engineer cannot set up another sentry nest, so they are going to retreat, getting back up onto the roof, and so here we are at the roof, we've got a decent setup here, but the blue team, they're going to come in, they're going to try to do their best to take this out, you do see the gentleman up on the right, you may see a spy and a soldier, 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 coming back in from the left as well, so this is kind of trying to surround our Red Team, we see a couple Reds dying, but a lot more Blues dying, and 8-Ball, once again, going for those stupid caber kills, Someone needs to ban that weapon or something, because that's ridiculous. 8-Ball is so good with the Caber. Uh, we do have that sentry still up. And I think our red team, look at the time left right now for uh, for the retro gamers to get this cap. They are going to bring the Uber in, but there's only two minutes left to go. So they really, really need to get their butts in gear here. We've got their spy trying to get some kills. Uh, doesn't look like, you know, he did get one. He got, uh, no, you know what, he didn't. That was Diz from the blue team actually going to take it down. So our blue spy not able to do a lot. Cart finally going to get pushed here by the heavy and the demo man. But watch out, there's still going to be something coming from above. They did not manage to quite clear the roof off. So they've got, they, they take down the spy, but it's a pyro. There's a soldier up there. The heavy even drops down just to delay that cart a little bit longer. He is going to have to back off, probably, but maybe not. Finally, the spy is going to stab him and get that all-important cap. One minute and 30 seconds. They've still got the time to take this on if they possibly can. But you know what? Oh, we've got a bit of a, a bit of green issue here. OBS kind of causes problems. There's only 25 seconds left here, and we are going to watch Negate on the Engineer using the Jag. 
Uh, his Uber comes back around. He's like, uh oh, there's, there's something coming in here. That's not good. Uh, so he does go ahead and use that Wrangler, eating up a lot of damage with that sentry gun. It's going to stay up, and he even takes a bit of an Uber flash just to make sure that he stays alive and stays good. So, keeping the sentry repaired, things are looking pretty good. Three seconds left in the stopwatch timer, which means that our red team here, BRBU, wins round number one quite easily, quite effectively negate with some good sentry positioning and some, some good uh, good fallback skills this round as well. You can see BRB doing a very good job of that. Now, we're going to watch Redman, the blue NG. This is going to be uh, round number two, and we've got Retro Gamers getting set up. Redman's going to go ahead and establish a mini sentry inside this tunnel, uh, and then start pushing the cart, but he realizes there's a heavy right here. Heavy decides to take some time to take down that mini sentry and gets to destroyed by Redman, utterly destroyed. Redman with a sick play there on the heavy and the med. Didn't even need the help. He's just like, yeah, whatever, guys. I can take on, you know, heavy med combo by myself. That's too easy. Too easy. So Retro Gamer's setting up a nice early time here. And here's the interesting thing. They actually knock people out in front of the shutter door. They are setting up such a huge camp here that look at the time on that cart. It has got times three on it the entire time here. There is no way for BRBU to set up a defense at the second point. That's nice and fast. So you have Tombo now coming in right behind. I'm having some difficulty talking here because this is non-stop action, but Tombo taking down the med, taking down the heavy, and deciding he still wants to stay alive here. He's going to get away from the blue team for now, grab some health, and he's going to be back in action in just a second. Spots the enemy soldier, and this is going to be an interesting little battle here between Tombo and the soldier. He realizes, oh, no, he gets knocked out of there. If he tries to jump again, he is going to get taken out. Instead, somehow managed to get himself up on that little lip right in front of the rail. And that's going to take down that soldier. Nice positioning. Nice rocket jumping there. Now. Uh, we spot the sentry, so you're going to see this blue spy. Watch him. Watch him very carefully here. Gets in, lays down the sappers. Doesn't even have to go for the stabs. All he needs is those sappers, which will help his team push the cart forward past that point. That's so important to get your spy coordinating with the rest of the team. You can see that happening quite a bit here. Now, we've got the blue team setting that cart down the hill. Of course, uh, there is no falling down the hill. They have to push it the entire way. Spy coming and getting some nice stabs there. And it's going to be Captain America saving the world. And he's probably not done quite yet here, but you know, I actually, uh, he might, he might be dead. Who knows? We'll find out as momentarily we, it does look like the blue team is going to get this cap, but a whole bunch of respawners by B right back on and Song are going to stop this just for now. They have barely managed to hold that card off and we'll start trying to set things up again. They're not going to set up a level three sentry, however, you see a mini sentry here and it's not going to do a heck of a lot of damage. Uh, Uber Exchange looking a little bit interesting here. Just a bit better for our red team. Blue has to kind of retreat, but they've still got a heavy on the cart. And so much damage coming in now. You do see a lot of players from Retro Gaming getting the kills. That's going to mean the only man left alive is their sniper. And so, that is all four points captured in about six and a half minutes. That is going to be your time to beat. We'll be right back on the stalling. Can they do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can they do it? We'll find out. Uh, as the Uber is popped, not doing a heck of a lot so far. They've got, uh, looks like 8-Ball jumping in, but he may get taken down a little bit too fast. Yes, he does. Not able to do a lot of damage. The uh, sentry, is it still there? I don't even know. Doesn't look like it, though, and there's going to be sappers all over the place. We've got some uh, FPS issues on my end. Not sure what's going on there, but you know. That's fine. That's cool. Diz looking to lay things down. He will go ahead and uh, help kill Caffeine. I don't think he actually got that kill, but we're going to continue watching the Diz. It's, uh... I wonder if he's named after Dizzy Gillespie. Anyway, he does get a nice... Is that a body shot or a headshot on the medic? Couldn't even tell. Courier coming in now for the defense. Retro Gamers, they are not letting this one up without a fight. So they uh, take down the heavy, no problem. Courier using that dead ringer still. And decides to just go ahead and revolver a bunch of stuff down. Uh, did he actually get a kill there? Couldn't tell. But you know, he's still not done. He's, uh, he's managed to hide somehow. Nobody knew where he was. So he takes down the NG trying to push the cart. Seven health left. And he managed to survive that. Looks like he might have gotten taken down by uh, SMG there eventually, but who knows? And nice little shots by 8-Ball. Uh, He's going to come in and take down that sniper immediately, but uh, no, I thought he was going to die from that. He got Pyro chasing you down. That can be a tough situation, but he did not. And now our red team is set up above that third point. Look at the time left. There's still four minutes left for BRBU to take this. So they could win this game right now. You do have a heavy jumping down, taking down our demo man, but does not manage to kill this heavy medic combo. And so that's going to be blue team BRBU getting about 30 seconds left there in between when we last looked and we look now. Three minutes and 30 seconds left for the cap's last point. Can they get it? Daddy Big Blunt starting to look for the headshots here. And he does spot Diz. So he's going to take down Dizzy Gillespie. Looks like Charlie Parker's going to have to play on by himself for now at Carnegie Hall. Uh, Daddy Big Blunt, though, we got a sniper and he's not done sniping. He spots this, uh, he spots this Uber going off. Can't quite hit the med. Is going to go for the demo, though. So the Lorax is down. Nobody will speak for the trees anymore. 
And spots that sniper. He's respawned again. He's got to stop this from happening, but he wants to get the med first. Does take down Trixie with a nice headshot. And so that's going, to, uh, that's going to cause a lot of problems for our defenders. There is still flames going on for some reason inside that, uh, that tunnel, but don't worry about it. Both teams losing a lot of players here. Uh, can the Retro Gamers get out here and stop this? Two and a half minutes left for them to defend, and they only have four left alive. It is a soldier and scout on the cart, but you do have a spy coming to get a nice stab. You've got uh, sniper now and soldier as well. And the cart, for some reason, has decided to uh, to start going in a different direction. So I don't know what's going on there. That's a little weird. Lorax taking a crit Krieg, though. He is going to take down three, two, maybe, players in one hit. And then uh, destroying Scar in the gate as well. That is a nasty, nasty crit Krieg shot. The problem is, though, there's only 20 seconds left here. Can the blue team actually get in in time to get this cart pushed to the last point? They've not taken out enough red players yet, so you've still got a heavy weapons guy. You've got the crit Krieg pop, but the crit Krieg isn't going to stop this Uber. The only problem is there's still 15 seconds, and you can't push the cart while you're Uber. There's a Pyros hanging out here. He does light everybody on fire, but that may not be enough. Nine seconds left. The cart's getting so close right now. They need to sit right next to it on the Retro Gamers, and they do. The Spy and the Sniper are holding things off. That cart is so close, but it's not quite close enough. Oh, that is so, so disappointing for BRBU. So that means it's one-to-one, -one, guys. We have one more stop round left to go. So we're going to watch it as our red team tries to set this up. This is going to be Retro Gamers on defense once again, and we're seeing the uh, Sentry Nest not taken down yet. A couple of pills and stuff getting thrown in. Watch the uh, the Blue Spy trying to get that attack going on, but he is not going to be let in by our soldier. Good positioning so far for the Blue team. They've got to make sure the Spy doesn't get their med. Uh, med almost as an Uber, so he is going to go ahead and take the Uber in. I think he pops it on the Pyro. Uh, and they spot a soldier, but that's really all they've got for this Uber. They don't have a lot to show for it other than that. Uh, red team is going to need to retreat once again. That uh, looks pretty standard here that they're trying to get back and set up on that roof. So, good positioning so far by our blue team. And they're going to get that cart capped onto the first point. Blue jeans now on our red team. This is our Pyro. We have not seen too much of his play yet. Uh, going to go ahead and get some pretty solid uh, reflects and air blasts done there. That Oh, no! Uber Spy! Watch out for that! But no, that was a very good air blast. Keeping the heavy down, that's going to mean uh, the sentry stays up for quite a while. Uh, cart is still getting pushed, and so they're going to have to drop down and stop that, I think. But good work so far by our red team. We've got uh, you know, pretty standard sentry nest up here on Peel Badwater. I didn't see the map earlier, but whatever, whatever. And that sentry is doing work right now. You've still got some kills coming in on that kill feed, so watch that carefully. But so far, Retro Gamers have a really solid hold up here. And as long as they can keep things... Oh, no! That's a nice kill. 8-Ball going in for the kills on that sentry gun. But it was just positioned well enough to knock him down in that little alcove. Spy coming in, though. That's a good play with the Dead Ringer. Keeping the cart moving forward. Very, very close to getting capped right now. And finally, the Uber is going to come in and destroy that stuff up top. Uh, there is, however, going to be a red Uber. Now, they've gotten the cart cap, which is fairly important. They'll get, some, uh, they'll get their opponents to spawn further backward, but they still have to kill the red team here and knock them out of this position. The sentry's gone, so that makes things a little bit easier. Uh, and a nice shot there by 8-Ball. Faking out that pyro, using a pill straight to his face. Oh, no. Okay, we got the soldiers fighting each other up there now, too. Anyway, finally the blue team gets that cart push, and they are actually... Apparently not a lot interesting happens until the next point gets capped here, or does it? We'll have to find out as the Retro Gamers don't appear to be in a position to stop this. So no, no problem getting that card capped. And now it's on to the final point. Five minutes so far that they have uh, established this time, and they need to make this go pretty fast. If BRBU, they can cap these points fast. So let's watch as our uh, Uber comes down right now, trying to take down the Sentry. Not quite able to do that just yet, uh, but that gun is taking a lot of damage. And there you go, with the combined fire of the Demo and the Heavy, that will go down. A lot of players on Retro Gamers dying now as well, so I think that VRBU are going to go ahead and get this cap nice and easy. There is a spy. He's going to have to try and stop this, but no, sir. That's everybody on the red team wiped out. Nobody's spawning for another five seconds. That's going to be a capture, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll just have to see how long they have set as a time. BRBU establishing a time almost of seven minutes. That's eminently beatable for our Retro Gamers, who are now on offense. We're going to go ahead and try and take these things out. Interesting Uber exchange. We're going to have uh, some stabs maybe coming in. No, he's just going to go ahead and uh, that blue spy once again establishing the sappers. So that's going to be the entry nest gone. You're going to see BRBU have to retreat from this now that they've lost their sentry nest. And uh, interesting that everybody is Jiradi, but they're still fighting, trying to keep that heavy down. Uh, looks like Tambo will die, though, and the uh, red team not able to accomplish a lot in that fighting retreat. So the cart getting pushed quite happily. Six minutes left to go, and now the fight is taken up to the roof. Sentry seems like it's only level 1, and already there's an Uber coming in, so that's not going to be a long-lived Sentry here. But can the red Uber actually destroy the blue team? I think the RBU wants that answer to be yes. And 
holding the roof still. They don't have a sentry, so it's going to be a much more uh, competitive hold. But another Uber actually built up and popped here, so they are delaying things by quite a bit. Look at that time now. Three and a half minutes left to go here for the Retro Gamers. And at this point, I think our red team is not going to have that much of a problem defending anymore. They've still got that cart sitting there on that second point. You've got Blue Jeans now, the Pyro. First person Pyro Pob once again. Uh, seems like another sentry's been set up. Three minutes left to go here, and that is not good. Nice reflect there by Blue Jeans. Uh, can he get another one, though? Oh, taking a lot of damage. He does go ahead and reflect Sticky Bombs in back into the face of 8-Ball. But it just does not seem like it's enough right now. Two and a half minutes left in this game. And so he's kept his meta alive. There may be another Uber coming in, but BRBU is looking so good on defense right now. Now there's a scout trying to clear the way here, but there is just too much up there. And there you go, the Bog Scout coming in now, just uh, stealing some help from the cart, stealing some uh, some bullets from the enemy sentry. Of course, he can't actually hit him there. He's invincible, so that's a nice thing. But nice jump in by the soldier. He's going to force just a little bit of an early Uber, and he does not like that. This, in fact, is going to be a completely ineffective Uber, so very good use of that uh, soldier bombing technique there by our red soldier. That was Tom Bo or Tom Ado once again. Cart moving further and further back. A minute and 40 seconds left, and that means that Retro Gamers don't look too good here. They finally managed to take out the nest up top, but uh, they lose their med in the process to a burning, burning pyro. And there's still players coming in here doing crazy damage. Eight ball with three kills on that cart as they try to cap it. Now, 50 seconds, seconds left. They're, they have been in this position in the past. Retro gaming crew. Uh, they are going to have to deal with the sentry, and they're going to have to deal with it very soon. They need to get out ahead of the cart, but they can't quite seem to do that. There's still just too much damage coming in. Now, good damage coming in from this black box soldier, but he's not quite able to get enough kills. Coop only managed to get one kill there. That's on Scar 11. It is the med down. That's pretty important. But with only 30 seconds left to go, this cart has to be times three the entire way. And in comes a Kaber Demo over next to the cart once again. It's, it's just not quite going to work for you, 8-Ball, but I know you wanted it. I know you wanted it bad. Anyway, I think that's going to be just about it, as there's still a level 3 center here. The cart is not even to the third, or yeah, the second point? Second point. Um, no, it is third point. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. It's not to that third point yet. 15 seconds left to go, so that is actually going to be be right back, uninstalling, winning this game. Very, very close, though, especially that second round. That's the closest I've ever seen Badwater get. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you have enjoyed the Batcap here with Sal TV. And uh, let me know what you want to see improved about this one, because we definitely took a lot of your suggestions on board last time. Thanks again to Naked Ape, the guy who made this video. He's a rockin' dude. And, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Badwater, the Batcap. I like it. I hope you liked it, too.